Introducing Dr. Ruja Mutabara. Ask so, um, her this question. We had two very exciting years. Uh, we were growing very fast. We were doing very, very good things. We did some adjustments too as a company on the blockchain, things that we just um, did not know before when we started. For example, the blockchain and the merchants. Now, the best, I think, is yet to come and uh, the most exciting part is coming now because now we have to move from just mining the coin into usability of the coin. And the first uh, thing how you can use the coin is moving on with the merchants. Um, 2017, January, February, we launched our own merchant platform. So what does this mean? As a merchant, you can join the platform for free and you can sell your services or your products, whatever you have, you can sell it uh, in this platform. You have access to over 12 million people there because we have about 3 million paid accounts and about 9 million free accounts in the system. So this is a lot of people. And the good thing about these people is the paid accounts, these are people who have for sure money and who are interested in buying things online. So um, you can join as a merchant for free. And for example, I don't know, if you have a flower shop, you can say, okay, this is a voucher for my flower shop. It is worth 100 euro. You can come any day and join me. Groupon, for example, does things like this. However, they force the merchant to do a 50% discount on whatever they sell so that they are attractive. And the fees that the merchant pays are very high. So in the end of the day, they're only 20% maybe staying with the merchant. What we want to do is, if you're a merchant, you get access to our client base, you can offer your services, you can offer uh, your products. However, we want you to take 25% of whatever the price is in coins. Of course, a lot of our network will get excited. Some of them have small businesses, some of them already are exciting merchants about this. So um, these people can join the network of stores, the network of uh, people and so on so um, we will also incentivize the members to bring in um, merchants the liquidity of the coin currently is still low so this means that you cannot liquidate all of your coins tomorrow before going public this is why we'll give the merchants the option to take up to 75 percent of the price in cash if you're a merchant if you want 100 percent in coins you can yeah, but if you just want 25% in coins, you also can. However, what we will do as a company, we will pay a BV uh, value on the cash payments. Why do we do this? Because first of all, the more good merchants we get, the better for the coin value. And uh, of course, we want this coin to be very, very successful and to get good merchants. We said, I think in Bangkok, we said 10 million users, 1 million merchants and hopefully one day 25 euro for the coin value but I do not want to have 1 million bad merchants I want to have even if it's just 100,000 merchants but really good merchants where people get excited to use them and I believe that in incentivizing our distributors who attract merchants for the network on the volume that the merchant makes is the right thing to do because it's so easy for me to sign up I can sign up today 100 people 100 merchants if their products are too expensive, not attractive, bad quality, no point. So it's again, we trust each other as a network, we want the best for the network and this is how we want to grow as a network. And of course it's very nice for you as a merchant, you know, you put the one coin sign on your door, I accept one coin. People maybe come and ask you, what is one coin? I want to know more about it. Then the merchant can go and say, okay, this is an education package. If you want, please have a look. And um, again, the network wins from this. Mm -hmm. So 2017, to get back to your question, mm -hmm. for me, is the year of the merchants, why 2018 is then the year where the coin has to go public.
Isn't there a prayer, mother? biggest race in the digital world is who can create the first global cryptocurrency. Because whoever does that will create the equivalent of the Facebook of the cryptocurrency world. And all the others must die. The genius of Dr. Ruja. She saw this when no one else did. When I understood that, I went, okay, I get it. That's why this company has only just started. What will be the future of plans? Good afternoon. No, for me, it is an absolute joy to be here. Um, I think I can give you some really good value, okay? I think I can help you have more confidence in the OneCoin business. Who would like that? Who doesn't want that? Who's too Swedish? <laughs> no, I think I can, I, I think I can add some value because I've had a very unique uh, look and understanding into OneCoin over the last, uh, last couple of months. And uh, I, th I think I can help you have more confidence because you understand more. The challenge that people have with OneCoin is that they actually don't understand it. And because they don't understand it, they get it wrong. And they, 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 they act short term, they don't take advantage of the opportunity. When they're talking to their friends and families, they go, ah, oh my God, one coin, children, under the stairs, please. And because of that, they miss out. 
And unlike um, most of the network opportunities that there are in the world, um, the, the challenge with OneCoin and the power of OneCoin is you've got to get off your assets and go into action. You can't hang around because there is a time structure on this opportunity. Now the point is, is that, the point is there is a time thing, and, and as you saw and heard, I've been in this business for um, for a very long time. I used to be an army officer, then I was an investment banker, and then I joined this business in London in the summer of 1989. So I've been a sort of one of the pioneers of this business, but I've been different. Okay, from the early 90s, I have been involved in the sort of strategic systems leadership, development, training and development within the industry. As the guys said, I have been involved and have helped many of the most successful companies, certainly in Scandinavia. I have been here many, 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 many times. And I've, uh, you know, my books are pro have sold hundreds of thousands of copies in this marketplace. And the reason why I think I've always got on very well in Scandinavia, I think the reason why my books have sold so well here is because you guys like the facts. You know, I'm the guy who wrote the million-selling book on the future of the industry. I'm the guy who has, for over 20 years, has flown and spoken at conferences explaining the statistics and the reason why this, this industry, when I saw it, was very small, but, you know, now is so big around the world. We're bigger than the movie industry, the gaming industry, the music industry combined. We're larger than that. And what I'm excited about what OneCoin's doing is that it's changing the game. We are nearly not like a normal company. And to, and to me, that's great. Who thinks that's great? Yes. Yeah? Because at the moment, we are having results like no one has ever seen before. And he goes, I thought it was a scam. And I went, do you really think I'd be involved? And he goes, no. Why are you involved? <laughs> Maybe it's not a scam. <laughs> Maybe there's more behind this. And he goes, are the incomes real? And I go, no. And he goes, I thought so. I said, no, they're double. <laughs> because the facts of this business are so crazy, so crazy, that that's all we need to say. We don't need to hype it up and down and, you know, do a little sort of dance on stage. We don't need to do that because the strength of the opportunity is so amazing. And, I, and for me, when I, when I look at all the things that I've been doing and helping OneCoin and talking to the leaders, everything for me is about ensuring that we can build more confidence in what we do, okay? As it stands today, really the world has barely started. It's barely started. The only reason that there's so many people here who have been involved for a year is because this is where it really, as far as the network is concerned, this is like the home market because, you know, obviously Sebastian and Yuha come from this part of the world. And so for us, it's a matter of saying, how do we look at the business going forward? And I, I, I got involved in this business because Curry that when he first told me that he said, oh, you know, can you have a look at OneCoin for me? And I had a look, I went, Curry, Curry. <laughs> like we've been friends for 20 years and I'm going, really? I said, there's something in the cryptocurrency, but you know, what are these guys doing? And, and so anyway, over a period of nearly, nearly three months, he's going, Ed, 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 Ed. And so finally he, uh, convinced Dr. Ruja to say, hey, it may be a good idea to meet me, and I, I sat down, and for the, anyone who's ever met Dr. Ruja, what happens is like, you know, okay, she's a doctor, and she's work, you know, she's, she has this sort of, not medical doctor, you know, she has that high, very high academic, and McKinsey's pretty amazing, but you, you know what I mean. But the fact is, is when you actually meet her, and I, I've met an enormous amount of successful people in this business, okay? I've worked with many of the billion dollar companies, I created a billion dollar company, so, you know, I've, I've sort of seen a lot before, and, and, and it was fascinating. When I think about it, it was fascinating. I sat down, asked some really curly questions, <laughs> and she had the answer, and, and very, very quickly, it was like, okay, this is really someone who understands about the most important stuff. Do you understand? She understands about the most important stuff. 
and she can actually do the, the hard stuff. And, that's, and I knew very, very quickly that I really, really, this is a company that has a massive future. The most important thing that I think I have done within the OneCoin family is to get really clear about why does someone need cryptocurrency? Because the numbers are off the chart, aren't they? And that story of Bitcoin, the most important thing about this graph is not the price. The most important thing about this graph is it says that the more demand for the coin you have, the price goes up. It's the only thing you really need to know. The more demand for the coin, the, the more the price goes up. And therefore, so long as we have the, the number of people joining and coming in and buying the education and putting the tokens into mining, so long as we have that at the speed that we're having it from around the world, the price will go up. Where will it go? Who cares? But I know where it's gonna go. I know it'll go up. I actually think I have a pretty good idea of how much it will be too. Would you like to know? Yes. Well, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> because who cares? Who cares? What you actually need to know is not where it's gonna go up, you gotta understand why. And this is where I see everyone gets it wrong. You need to know why. And people say, oh, well, it's, but it takes a little bit of time. And I said, yeah, it's gonna take 10 minutes. And in that 10 minutes, you're going to be able to help someone understand actually what Dr. Ruja has created, actually what OneCoin is, okay? Because I know that when I talk to people about this, they suddenly understand that it, that it works. So what I wanna do is, because this was the question for me, I just wanted to know, hey, where's cryptocurrency? And there are three reasons. How many reasons are there? How many reasons are there? There are three reasons. Okay, and the first reason is what is called the unbanked. Okay, the unbanked. Now, in Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, okay, we, you guys live in that gray part, okay? The unbanked are people who have no banking. And the World Bank reports that 40% of the adults in the world have no banking, 40%, okay? And why does that matter? Well, if you have no bank account, you obviously, to send money is difficult, but most importantly, you can't loan money. And if you can't loan money, you can't be part of the whole new global 21st century evo evolution. You can't buy that sewing machine. You can't buy those new seeds. You can't buy that extra animal. You don't develop. And because you don't develop, what happens? What happens? Yeah, what, what happens is you, you think short term. So you have too many kids, okay? You destroy the environment. You're open for exploitation. So you have a look at the places where there are problems with child slavery. Have a look at the problems with wars. Have a look at all these problems. They're not in the areas where there's banking. The potential of cryptocurrency is not just, hey, you can make some money here. The potential of cryptocurrency, it is the key to change the world forever. But the point to understand is that to have a cryptocurrency that's used by literally a billion or more people all around the world, you can't have 21 million coins like Bitcoin. To understand, you've got to have a few billion coins. There's a reason why we have 100 times more coins than Bitcoin. And the reason is, is because if you listen to Dr. Ruja speaking about the opportunity, you will hear her turn around and talk about the unbanked. I didn't make this up, she told me about it. The second one is what's called remittances. It doesn't really matter so much in places like Scandinavia, but for the rest of the world, every year, as the World Bank says, $600 billion is sent. $600 billion is sent between people. Some places, it's extremely important. And it is expensive. As, as you heard, you know, Udo is, is an expert, actually, in cryptocurrency. That's why he's written a book. And as he said, he talks about, it is really expensive to send this money. And cryptocurrency is proven, proven 
as a much better, low cost, cheap, fast alternative. Okay, it's not a matter of, hey, could we take some of this market? We, we're gonna take all of this market, okay? Because why would you pay 7% when you can pay 1%? Get it? So how much currency do you need to be able to use 600 billion cryptocurrency, uh, 600 billion dollars? Do you need a couple of hundred million? Do you need a billion? Think about it. How much currency do you actually need? <laughs> you don't know, do you? <laughs> Is he gonna tell me? I don't think so. <laughs> do I have to work it out? <laughs> I don't know. Look, to be able to send that much currency, you need tens and tens and tens of maybe even hundreds of billions of dollars of currency so people can have the currency and send the currency. Do you get it? So when you think that we're so much dramatic, we're so much cheaper for that, obviously the market for cryptocurrency is in just remittances is something like $600 billion and this does not account for $22 trillion of business to business remittances. I don't put the 22 trillion up because it just gets silly. The last reason is what's called protecting your income and wealth. And Look, you live in Sweden, you don't really even think about it. You don't really think about the fact that your money is based in krona, do you? You don't even really think about it. Maybe if you went on holiday and you had to convert krona uh, into euro, yeah? Then you think about how much is it worth, what's the exchange rate. But imagine, do you know what that note is? That is a $50 trillion dollar Zimbabwean dollar, 50 trillion dollar. That, that stuff is literally not worth the paper it's written on, and I can see only one use for it, and you use it after you've been to the toilet. <laughs> because it's not worth anything. And so anyone who has the future based on any sort of currency that is very weak, they know what that's like. You go to places in the world whose income, whose money, whose wealth is based on these rubbish currencies because the, the, the country creates them, they know what you're talking about. And so we look, that's the really big story that we hear about is, is this, which you know, Max and Narvid gave me this. I think this is the world's greatest graph. And what it, all it says, it came from the Federal Reserve, if you haven't seen it before, came off the website, right, of the, of the Federal Reserve, and it shows that in the 200 years before the global financial crisis in 2008, they, they had so much money. And then in the global financial crisis, they basically did, it's QE stands for quantitative easing, it's another name for printing money. And they printed five times more money in the last eight to nine years than they had in the previous 200 years. And so that's why you hear people go on about the US dollar, but it's not just the US, it's Canada and it's, um, it's uh, more people, please. It's in South Africa and it's the Euro and it's the Chinese and it's the British pound and the Australian dollar and they've all done it. That's why we're not looking at the US dollar going, because <laughs> everyone's done it. The only difference is, is that they haven't thought about how, they go, how that's going to impact the world. And the reality of all of this, it just means that across the world, there is a lot of people who wanna put their wealth into something that isn't going to be devalued. The opportunity for this is absolutely massive. The point is, is when you include all three of these customer groups together, the coin value of the cryptocurrencies that will look after this is at least $1 trillion, at least. So what happens is that when people go, ooh, look at the growth of the company, it's so crazy, who cares? Who cares when they go, oh, Bitcoin's $5 billion and you're worth, you know, more, you know, don't you, aren't you worried that you're gonna finish the marketplace? Who cares? That's how big it is. 
because that's how much currency you need to fulfill the unbanked, the um, protecting the wealth and remittances. You need that amount of currency to be able to do that. And the, the, the other thing, which is the real killer, which if you actually listen to Dr. Rouge's videos, you will understand that it's not about 1,000 cryptocurrencies being part of the billion dollar opportunity. What it actually is, what it actually is, is cryptocurrency is like social media. Cryptocurrency is like social media. It's digital, it's global, and it's networked. It means that it's connected. So because it connects in digital and global, it means that instead of having 1,000 cryptocurrencies, eventually what will happen is that the big ones will just kill the little ones. And that's what happened to Facebook. Facebook didn't kill MySpace. Facebook just become the, became the one and MySpace died. Do you understand that? And so when you actually look at this opportunity, okay, the goal of this company is to create the reserve currency. Google it, reserve currency. In reserve currency, you'll understand that this is the global currency that the world uses. But also understand that, that whilst everyone thinks it's the US dollar, a, it is published many times that Russia, China, Brazil, India, um, the Gulf states all want to move away from the US dollar. And the idea that they will work together to create a new currency is crazy. It won't happen. The only logical thing is they're gonna take on a cryptocurrency, which they won't be able to create themselves. What will happen, it's, it, what will happen is someone else will. And so to create this, the genius of Dr. Ruja, really, the, the, to me, her, the thing that I, that I find extraordinary that she was being able to do is she saw this when no one else did. Got it? That's what she saw. She understood that Bitcoin can never do it, and therefore, the biggest race in the digital world is who can create the first global cryptocurrency. Because whoever does that will create the equivalent of the Facebook of the cryptocurrency world. And all the others must die. Because you only use one Facebook, right? You don't use five different types of Facebook. You only have one. And that's why it's so important that you understand exactly that's happened. And when I, when I understood that, I went, okay, I get it. That's why this company has only just started. And if, you, if, if in three years time you see, you know, OneCoin's famous all around the world, you know, the next Google, Uber, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, everyone knows your friends will go to you and say, ah, oh, Jens, you're so intelligent. How come you bought those one, you know, how did you mine those OneCoins in 2016? Man, you must have made a fortune. And you'll go, oh, I sold them. And your best friend will look at you and go, idiot. And forevermore, every time, every time you'll be sitting in the bar and they'll go, how's your one coins? So what the work is that's happening now is being done because in two or three years, it has to all be set up and working so everyone is able to, if they want, sell their coins. Does that make sense to you? All the digital, big digital areas work like this. When we're looking at search, Netscape and Yahoo, you know, pioneered, and then what happened? Google killed them. When it came to social media, what happened is, you know, companies like MySpace, MySpace pioneered it, and then they got killed by, they got killed by Facebook. And God bless Bitcoin, they pioneered, and they will be killed by And they will be killed by one coin because Dr. Ruja understood what the final area of cryptocurrency was and specifically designed a strategy to be able to deliver that. The point is, the point is, is that we don't have to raise and jump up and down. The facts speak for themselves. This company is all about customers who get involved with the cryptocurrency and we just need to change the language, change the way we focus, 
be more professional, looking after people. The pioneering days are, are over. Our job now is, as, as Curry was saying, it's all about being the trendsetter stage. It's all about building the confidence. And I tell you what, you can see when you understand that, that this year is gonna be spectacular, correct? Yeah. It will be spectacular. It is the craziest opportunity, it is, it is so different. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I am overjoyed to be involved. I'm overjoyed that, you know, people are going, Edward, you know, your reputation. I go, I'm overjoyed. The reason why, only reason I'm here is because I'm smart, okay? That's the only difference between me and other people. I'm just here and smart and I do my research. So, so that's really cool. As a one world, one coin, one pay, one everything. The reason why we say one is because fundamentally as humans, we just wanna be one, correct? Yeah. And I think that for the first time in history, there is a concept in an organization that is able to do that. And it will come from you guys. And because I'm excited because you have the leaders, you have the opportunity, you have the amazing Dr. Ruja, you know, as who's just a genius to be able to create this thing. And because of that, I know that this marketplace is gonna rock and roll. And I look, I get the numbers, okay? And I really look forward to seeing them jump as you finally get off your backside and go into action, all right? So for me, it was a pleasure. I'm excited, I got my red socks back on, which I haven't had for a couple of years. And we're gonna tear up the marketplace. So thank you very much, guys, for inviting me. Rock on, rock and roll. See you later.